Kelly Bean here, and today I have a hair tutorial for you guys. Now this hair tutorial is, I think there's something running outside. I don't know what it is though. Now this hair tutorial is for when all the other hair tutorial hairstyles that you've tried today just won't work because they're stupid. Okay, so hello. What do you mean I can't call them stupid? I can call them whatever they are I want. They're my subscribers. Fine. I'm sorry. This is for those days when you just can't get anything to work. Are you happy, John? So, the first thing you're going to need is a, a straightener. This is the best straightener I've ever used. Now, honestly, I don't know if it really is the best straightener that I've ever used. Well, it's the best straightener that I've ever used. But I don't know if it's really that good or if it's just because it is a brand new straightener. And I've been using a third hand straightener. My aunt ordered it offline. I think she only used it like twice. But my mom used it for like two years, I think. And then I took it because I wanted a straightener. And I didn't have the money at the time to get one. So it was about three years old when I got it. Actually, no, it was probably that old when my mom got it. So it was probably really, really old. And I bought this one brand new, right off the box, right out of the box. It's never been used before, unless they, like, tested it, you know, like, in office. In office, they don't test them in an office, but whatever. This is the Hair Age Straightener Straight Collection Styling Tool. This is the Hair Age Straight Straightener. Whatever. It looks like this. It's bleh. It's so pretty. It is actually really pretty on camera. It's a little bit darker than that IRL is, but let's hop to it. First off, you're going to want to take your hair down. I, I put it on the side. <laughs> now, this is for all sides of your hair, no hair. Well, you have to have hair to do this. You know, this is for, this is for everyone. This is a very non-controversial hair tutorial. So, you're just going to want to comb it out. You're also, depending on who you are and the length of your hair, you're going to want some extensions. Now, I don't use a lot of extensions. Sorry, the fans on. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I don't use a lot of extensions just because I don't I don't have a lot of extensions, one. And two, because I just don't wear a lot of extensions, you know. I have this one super long one that I put all the way down to the bottom. And then I have this really short one that I put in my bangs. And then I have three other ones. These, this one goes just above the brown one, and these two go right beside each other, about here. So, it doesn't really give a lot of length to my hair, but, I don't know. Bleaching it has thinned it out a tiny bit in the couple months, and I'd say about six months that I've been doing it. So, yeah. So, you're going to want to take a straightener and just straighten your hair and make sure that was failed. Make sure it's just straight and stuff. Wow. I just re-dyed my hair, by the way. What do y'all think? It's not... What did I just do then? Oh, I'm putting my straight... My brush is the wrong way. Just need to show that the tips are straight. That's not steam coming... Or that's not, like... My hair isn't burning, by the way. That is the hair oil that I have in my hair. So I'm going to quick, quick, quickly... Quickly run my straightener through my extensions. Now these ones do burn a little bit, but I don't care because, to be honest, your hair isn't this, this perfect. It's not perfectly silky straight, especially when you, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Especially when you process it, like a normal person. Whether that's just heat styling or dyeing it. It's not perfect, so, I don't really mind that my hair is a little, my, my extensions are a little jacked. I don't know what those two kinks are from. I had a piece of memory foam in there. I have a memory foam bed. They're not as awesome as people say they are. Uh, just trying to get those two kinks out. And also, just in case you're wondering, I used I use ion products to dye my hair with. 
I've been using them. I don't know why people bash those. Well, not a lot of people, but especially, like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to feel like, I don't want you guys to think that I'm, like, bashing these YouTubers because of this or whatever. I don't want to feel like I'm, I don't want you guys to think that I'm, like, down, downing them at all or anything, but especially Hannah Hospital does it a lot with the Ion. She's like, it's just, I just, you know, I don't want a lot of products or whatever. So I'm going to use the Ion hair dye because it sucks or whatever. They don't. You wash your hair way too much. And you as a hair stylist should know that you're not supposed to wash your hair every day. Especially if you process it like that. I wish I wish I could take that out because now I feel awful. Because I know someone's going to, oh, you suck because you're, you know, being mean to people. No, I'm not. Trust me. But yeah. Ion products. I've been using them since summer of last year. And I've been using them basically since my birthday of last year, so almost a year. And I only have to dye my hair. I dye my hair once a month, and I bleach my roots every two months, so. Most of the time, it's every two months. So, also, Ion, I use the Ion hair dye. I've always used the purple hair dye by Ion, just a plain purple one. It's way too hot in here. I can't have the fan off, I'm sorry. I just use the regular purple one, and I... Normally use aqua blue when I was dyeing my roots. Those aren't my roots. These are my roots. When I was dyeing my roots, like the bright blue and green and yellowy color that I had in them, it was aqua blue by Ion. But last time when I went to my Sally's, they didn't have that one. So I got sky blue, which is, let me just tell you, the darkest blue that I've ever seen in my life. But it is gorgeous. They don't really look it. Well, you can really see the difference in this one. The one in the middle, hold on, is that going to work? Yeah, okay, so you can see that the purple in the middle is the purple and blue mixed together, which is a little tiny bit of purple, or of blue, and 90% of it purple, and this blue here, the really pretty blue, is just straight up sky blue. It's really dark, but it's gorgeous. You can't really tell from here, but I'm fine with that. And this brown is just, I want to get black is what I want. I want black, but I don't have, I don't have anything to get black with. I don't have the required moolah to buy it yet. So yeah, it's like this. It's number two, I think is what it's classified as. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put in your extensions. So I put, I'm not going to be able to show you guys this. Besides, like, what you're saying now. Did I just whistle when I said show? Because I don't feel like turning around. I'll do an I better in depth tutorial on it someday. When I get editing skills and. I have a camera. I can't say it's because I don't have a camera. When my YouTube doesn't hate me, is when I'll do it. So I do leave a tiny bit of hair just in case I go to put my hair up with my extensions in. So I just make sure the pops, the clips are popped. And then I'll put it in my hair. These are just wig clips, actually. Her. <laughs> there we go. Then I come up a little bit. I'm actually, since I want my hair to be kind of longer, I'm only going to come up a tiny little bit because I want the length and not just the thickness. Gonna tie this off to the side. Oops, I got something. I don't want to waste. Oh, and also, excuse me, my face. I don't have any kind of makeup on except for my my eyebrows because I don't. I'm in the process of moving at the moment, so everything is packed up and it's getting ready to go to the new house.
Hmm. Well, that was a smart person, though. Oh, wait, I can just use this big giant book. Alright. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I put the one over to the side just enough out there, over to the side just enough to where the hair, when it comes down, will cover it. And then I put this one over, more over here. Right where this one ends, I put the other one in. So it's all the way to here. Oh, that's a good book there. Oh, oh, oh! So this is what my hair looks like with everything in it. Hopefully everything is covered. And what you're going to want to do now is kind of fluff it up a little bit. Make sure it's kind of tall. I personally like curling. Oh, I forgot one. The piece that I put in my bang. Well, I just put this one in a freaking wire. Always put it back a little bit though. Make sure I have it back a little bit because... If not, because there's one clip. The way that I cut this one, I wanted it the entire length, like width of my band. Width as in the size where it comes from like here to here, not as in like length. And even with the large wig clips that I got, there's still some, uh, there's still the edges. And that's just glue on the sides where I used to glue them in. So I have to put it back, back as in towards the crown of my head a little bit further instead of where I could normally just put the, put it, put the other ones wherever basically. Now since that one is pretty fried, the one that I just put in my bangs, and that's just for added color and texture. It's not really for length or anything. So I'm going to take one of these brushes, which is actually like a nail brush for, like you have on the sink, and tease my hair a little bit. I like using this because I don't have a teasing brush, so it just kind of really gets in there and knots everything up. Keeps it. Helps it stick out a little bit. But it also keeps it kind of smooth, you know. It's really hard doing this, like in the ca in the camera on the computer, on the webcam. Just tease your hair however big you want it. This actually has still a little bit of soap on it. It smells nice. Just trying to get it a little bit bigger. And yes, I see that hair is keep sticking up. Now what I'm going to do is bring my hair forward here and put it in a side braid. Thank you, Jenna Marbles. And I'm just going to put it really kind of loose and big at the beginning and then get really really tight and like you know really tight and precise down at the bottom now if you're a prepared person and you have everything prepared before you you know do your youtube videos you would have a really tiny little sand rubber band to do this with, but, um, oh, is that what I think it is? Hold on, it'll disappear for a second if I can get over there without all, all, all of the noise that's happening. I don't want to burn myself on my lamp.
No. I was making sure you could see my butt just then. I found one. One of these tiny little teeny tiny ones. Nice. If you see the the cartoon moving behind me, it's because A, I am moving, and it was a gust. A gust in the morning. I don't know that song. I lost it on, or I heard it on Watch Mojo. Oh my gosh, it just broke. Are you kidding me? No. If you were a prepared YouTuber, you would have one of those tiny little rubber bands. But you're not a prepared YouTuber, you're a bully bean. And you do stuff however you want. Did you guys see my sweet 16 crown? I know that I did a 16th birthday haul, but I don't know if you guys saw my crown. I actually can't grab it right now, and I feel awful because I said something about it. Because there's a bunch of stuff on top of me. So I'm just going to mess the top of my braid up a little bit. Just make sure everything is kind of loose and just, you know, I don't care. I've had a bad morning. You know, look at that. Look at that. What's happening down there? You can just tuck that in your shirt and I won't have to see it. So this is the hair tutorial. Please ignore that. I hope you guys like this video. And actually, besides the point, you probably know this by now, but... If you sleep with your hair braided like this, especially, and if you have like perfectly, like naturally really straight hair, get it wet, braid it, and French braid it if you can. Go to sleep on it like that, and when you wake up, you'll have really, really nice waves. They're really nice, especially the longer that you leave it like that. Sorry, I keep, I'm not used to filming again because I stopped. Because I'm a butthole. I'm a butthole. So, yeah. That's what this looks like. Wow. Something just dawned on me. I had a fake lip ring right beside of this one. At the beginning of this tutorial. And it's gone now. So I either A swallowed it or B it's in my shirt. Let's hope it's B. I don't feel it. Well, let's just hope that when it fell out of my lip, it wasn't noticeable. So, if you liked this video, please definitely make sure to like the video. Leave a nice comment down below. Did that really just happen? <laughs> Why are you not staying? This is it. Well, this is embarrassing. Huh, right here. Right there. Leave a nice comment down below, or me more than I care. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you see, if I had editing skills, I could insert bloopers here from like you know the rest of the beginning part of the video. But I don't have any editing skills, so I'm just gonna sit here and make random, random things and show you stuff. You see this? Isn't that the coolest thing you ever seen in your life? It's really dirty on the bottom, so don't look at the bottom. This is highlighter. And I hate to say this, but this jar... You want to know what was in this jar? A gallstone. Mm-hmm. A gallstone from, like, your gallbladder. My grandmother. It was my grandmother's. I don't know what happened to the gallstone. I just remember wanting the, the jar really bad. Because it glows. Well, it doesn't glow right now, but... I don't want to touch the light because it's really hot. I should probably stop messing with the light before it explodes. Oh! Problems? 